Hello and welcome to Healthy Lifestyle Tips, your go-to channel for all things health and wellness. Our mission is to empower you with knowledge and insights that can help you lead a healthier, more balanced lifestyle. We explore everything from nutrition and exercise to mental health and preventive care. In today's video, we're going to delve into an interesting topic. Why skin is thicker in certain areas of our body. So buckle up for a fascinating journey through the world of skin health. Let's get started. Before we dive into why skin is thicker in certain areas, it's important to understand the basics of what our skin is. Our skin, the body's largest organ, is composed of three main layers. The outermost layer is the epidermis, which serves as a barrier against environmental hazards and regulates water loss from the body. Beneath the epidermis is the dermis, packed with sweat and oil glands, hair follicles, and a network of blood vessels. This layer is also responsible for the skin's tactile sensations. The innermost layer of our skin is the subcutaneous tissue filled with fat and connective tissue providing insulation and serving as an energy reserve. Our skin is our body's first line of defense. It protects us from harmful substances, helps regulate body temperature, and allows us to sense the world around us. Now that we've covered the basics, let's move on to why skin thickens in certain areas. Our skin is not uniform across our bodies. One of the most noticeable places where it's thicker is on our hands and feet. This isn't a random quirk of nature but a clever design by our bodies to protect the areas that experience the most wear and tear. Let's think about it. Our hands and feet are constantly in action, interacting with the world around us. From walking and running to lifting and holding, these body parts are always busy, so it makes sense that they need an extra layer of protection. That's where keratin comes in. This tough protein is a key player in skin thickening. It's produced by our bodies and helps to form a protective barrier on our skin. The more we use a certain part of our body, the more keratin is produced, leading to thicker skin. So our everyday activities greatly influence the thickness of our skin, especially in areas that we use more frequently. Another area where our skin is noticeably thicker is on our elbows and knees. This isn't a random occurrence. There's a pretty good reason for this. Our skin is a master adapter, always adjusting to the demands we place on it. When it comes to our elbows and knees, these joints are constantly bending, flexing, and bearing the brunt of our body weight. To protect these areas, our skin thickens, forming a sort of natural armor. But this armor isn't impenetrable. It's more prone to dryness and calluses, largely because of the constant strain we put on it. This is why it's crucial to hydrate and moisturize these areas regularly to keep our skin healthy and flexible. It's fascinating, isn't it? Our bodies are always working, always adapting to our lifestyles. The skin on our elbows and knees has to be tough to withstand all the bending and pressure we put them through. So there you have it. That's why the skin is thicker in certain areas of our body. To recap, our skin thickens in response to pressure and friction, creating a protective layer. This is why our hands and feet, which interact with the world the most, have thicker skin. Similarly, our elbows and knees also have a denser skin layer due to their frequent bending and contact with surfaces. Thank you for tuning in to Healthy Lifestyle Tips. Don't forget to subscribe for more insightful videos on health and wellness. Stay healthy.